Previously on The Potentialists. Do you guys know who Rick Nelson is? He's hiding behind a facade. Ricky, give me a call, man. Pensions are just really, really high today. <sighs> when is he going to start talking? We got stormed on like cats and dogs. I'm going to go rescue Alex. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. I'm taking a break because I get to go rescue Alec, who went on the back of Bert's bike, and she said she checked the Doppler radar, and oh, the weather was fine over there, and yeah, look, I don't know if you can see the rain, but you can certainly see my windshield wipers. I'm gonna go rescue Alec, poor thing. I, I hope she didn't get rained on. I rescued Alex and she didn't get too rained on. Too much rain. Nope. And Bert's behind us right now, driving in the rain. You can hear his radio. <laughs> LJ, you look a little scared. You wanna hold up the letter? I have something to share with the team. I would please like Alexa to read aloud what I have wrote. He's got a long letter that he wants the five of us to, to hear. The trick is Alex. to get Alex and Bert over here from their sales meetings. Please read the whole thing first. I feel like everything is spinning around me. I feel like this must be a dream. It can't be true. While watching Tony Robbins' webinar, I dozed off, and when it was over, I woke up. Valerie said, is that it? Mm -hmm. I looked at my watch and instinctively opened the side of my mouth. It was 25 minutes. Where the words, yeah, it was only 25 minutes. You said that? You said that, like out loud. Oh no, what have I done? Fear, terror, sadness, disbelief, all exploded in my head. It was the worst feeling. I let everyone down, I let myself down. Tape and all, I ruined it with a slip of six words. I'm so upset with myself that I let this happen. The past seven days have been amazing. I learned to think more, especially before I speak. I learned to listen better, to control myself and contain myself. Oh, I don't always have to say something and that I don't have to be the center of attention. I've learned to slow down, pause, lessen my impulsiveness. I learned so much and journaled it all in the past seven days. Valley and Eric said they wouldn't say anything. Eric even suggested editing it out since the camera was still rolling. But Valerie said that if I did, I wouldn't be growing at all. Even though they still won't, won't say anything, I have a choice. Act like this never happened and finish my vow or come clean and grow. As much as it scares me to write this, the deal was if I spoke, I would have to leave. I still don't believe this is happening, but I have to stay true to my word. Today, I am starting on day one, even if I must leave. But I ask sincerely that you please let me redeem myself and continue here. I will not fight you if you ask me to leave. A deal is a deal, but please consider me staying. I will not guilt trip you into staying. I just don't want to lose my opportunity, my team, and my family here or anything else I want to stay with all my heart LG Polk. Okay, I think that it's huge that he chose to do what he did. I really like what he wrote, what he's learned so far and I don't want to lose him. What do you think? I think this is a huge step from video of the light bulb where he was sidestepping, doing everything possible not to let you guys know what the issue was, Keep making a bigger and bigger hole for himself. He knew right off the bat what the issue was today and he come, came to this to himself to come to be honest with you guys. That's right, but then we have another issue. Mm -hmm. You guys want to cover up for him? No. So you were going to cover up for him. <laughs> I, no, I, I clarified myself later. My knee jerk was to say, get that out of there, because I was- Save his ass. I didn't realize when he said, when, when he said that, I, I was like, who's speaking? I, I really, I looked around, I was like, I don't, I don't understand who's speaking, and then I realized like, 10 seconds later, he spoke. I don't want it to be a sign of weakness, because how many times have we said, he has to go, he has to go, he has to go, and he didn't get, he didn't make it. So what do you think? He didn't make it, he broke his vow, he's gotta go. Oh, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?